Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation with radicals. We have a to the power a to the fifth power equals the fifth root of four, and we're going to find the a values. I'll be presenting two methods, and then I'll show you a graph at the end. So let's start with the first method. For my first method, I'm going to use substitution. Let me rewrite the problem a to the power a to the power 5 equals the fifth root of 4. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and call a to the power 5 something. How about calling that b? So we say a to the fifth equals b. This implies that a to the power b equals the fifth root of 4. So we kind of turn it into a system where we can substitute. So from here, since a to the fifth power equals b, I can say that a can be written as b to the power one fifth, or you can write it as the fifth root of b. Here, a and b don't have to be um, positive, but the idea is, you know, at the end, they, they're going to have to be positive anyways. So we have a in terms of b, the fifth root of b. And now we can go ahead and substitute that here. We can replace a with the fifth root of b, and then raise it to the power b, and set it equal to fifth root of 4. This is going to be a short video, so let's quickly go over these. We can put the b inside, so write this as the fifth root of b to the power b equals the fifth root of 4. Since they both, uh, both sides have the fifth root, we can totally ignore them or just raise both sides to the fifth power so on and so forth. From here we get b to the power b equals 4. And at this point it's very easy to guess that b equals 2. Because 2 to the second power equals 4. Now you might be questioning, are there any other solutions for which this is true? And the answer is no. At the end, like I said earlier, we're going to take a look at the graph and we're going to see if there's any other solutions. Now we have b equals 2 and b is the fifth root um, the fifth power of a, so b can be written as a to the fifth power. From here, a becomes the fifth root of 2. And that's what we were looking for. So, that brings us to the end of the first method and the beginning of second method. So, for our second method, we're going to do the following. Let me rewrite the problem. a to the power a to the power 5 equals the fifth root of 4. So, we're going to use a trick here. And these methods are, by the way, very similar, but uh, just a little, maybe slightly different. So, for this one, I'm going to raise both sides to the fifth power. And there's a real uh, good reason behind it. First of all, if you raise both sides to the fifth power, you get rid of the radical. Uh oh. And the second good reason is, the second good reason is, you're going to have something nice on the left-hand side, which is not obvious right away, but you'll see in a little bit, it's going to turn into a nice form. So this is going to give us, when you raise a power to another power, you're going to multiply them. So this is going to become a to the power 5a to the fifth equals 4. The fifth root and the fifth power, they cancel each other out. Now what can I do with this? You see that 5? I can put it inside using properties of powers and write this as a to the fifth to the power a to the fifth, which means they are the same, the base and the exponent. And the result is 4. This implies that a to the fifth equals 2, and from here a becomes the fifth root of 2 as before. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and we're just going to wrap it up. Like I said earlier, this is going to be a short video. All right, great. So I graphed x to the power x to the power 5 for you. It's kind of similar to x to the power x, which is kind of like this, right? Uh, but it just curves a little differently, especially for numbers that are between 0 and whatever. Anyways. So it kind of goes kind of flat, not flat, but it looks flat. And then it curves, it makes a minimum at some point, and then it goes up. And as you can see here, the intersection point has the x-coordinate, the fifth root of 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.